Hello everyone. Um, as you can see from the title, this is not really my usual type of content, um, but I was actually really excited uh, when I saw Etho's newest Termic Craft episode and he had this like weird dream about this uh, redstone contraption. And so what it is, is it's a shulker box sorting system and like searching system. So if I go to my inventory, um, so I have these that have stuff in common. So they have spruce, netherite, diamond, stuff like that. And then, so, but some of these have the same item. And so what I've been testing on has been the mud blocks. So these blue ones, that's why they're color coded. This is what Etho did. So I kind of kept it similar. Um, but the blue ones all have mud in them and none of the black ones have mud in them. And then all of the black ones have spruce planks, uh, but none of the blue ones have spruce planks. So uh, just to show you how this works. So you power this so that they don't get taken out right away. Um, but I just kind of put these in here, right? And then this hopper is an item sorter. And so you can put it directly in there if you want, or you can put it here. Um, so if you put mud in here, then it gets held, right? Um, so basically if I release this, then these get taken out. They get sorted through here, then through here. And then our mud block shows up right here. And if we go to our item sorter, now it's empty. And so then here, these are the black ones. They all have spruce and some netherite diamonds and stuff. And then down here, these have the mud blocks in them. So this, this is what Etho made um, in his episode. Um, and so I didn't take note of it before, but I know these have the same amount of mud blocks in them as before. This one has 10, 17, and 16. That's what they started with. Um, and then I did have, I think I had 22 before. Put one in there, then I get it back right here. Um, but the reason that I wanted to make this video, um, obviously I don't want to copy anything that any other creator does, but Etho made this and he kind of showed off what it looks like in his episode and he walked around, but he only showed it in survival and he didn't show how to make it, which is fine because that's like his type of thing to do. Um, but I actually figured out how to make it work and this actually took quite a long time. I kept messing things up and it was really difficult to see. He would show like this piece of redstone he shows for like... A second in his video um, so you kind of have to I had to like rewatch it I was watching it in like slow motion um, it took forever to get all of these timings right and just make sure all of these observers were the right way and in fact this observer right here gave me so much trouble um, so I built you can see I built this thing twice um, but I was actually testing one I couldn't get this this is the one I built first and I couldn't get it to work um, so I decided, well, maybe it's a rotational thing because all of the observers, they always go the same way. Um, so you can see how this one has that black stripe, but these have the arrows on the front. Um, and they always face the same direction. Um, so like maybe it's a directional thing, like how Minecraft rails uh, sometimes do that. Um, but both of these work, so I could actually, I'll show you with this one as well. Just to prove that. Uh, power this. So if I just throw these in here. Power it up. In just a second, they'll both go. Um, but yeah, so I built the second one because I couldn't get the first one to work. Um, but yeah, these all have the spruce planks and then these 16, 17, and 10 mud. Okay. Um, but it turns out that I had, um, one, I had some of these hoppers facing the wrong direction. I didn't turn them into the dispenser and dropper correctly. Um, but this um, observer right back here above this dispenser um, because it's completely enclosed by everything and when I had it uh, this way it was really hard to tell what direction it's facing like you can't see what the arrow is from this side you have to get rid of this one first which is actually what I did and I realized that I had all of these three facing down and I had that one facing up for some reason um, so when I was building this one I made this one facing down built the whole thing and it worked well actually I had a couple other issues like the hoppers and stuff but eventually I got this one to work, then I played around with this one, switched that observer, um, got this one to work as well, just to make sure that it wasn't directional before I made this video. So it does work um, whether you have it facing this way or this way, so I assume the other two directions would work as well. I don't know why it would make a difference, nothing in this build makes it seem like it would, except for the fact that there is one rail right here, but I think if it works in 
this direction and in this direction, I don't see why the other two would matter. Alright guys, so now that I've showed you how this thing works, I figure now we'll show you how to build it. And actually after I built this thing uh, and fi actually figured it out, um, I found two different YouTube tutorials that actually show how to build it. So I will be linking them down below as well because they show some pretty cool stuff and explain it really well. Um, however, they did build it in creative and they started from the top mostly. Um, so I just figure if you're going to do this in survival, um, that may be a little bit tougher. And in Etho's video, he did start in the back corner. And so I think that's what we're going to do as well. So I put everything we'll need in here. I hate that it does that. Anyway, so this is all the materials that we'll need. I'm actually going to have the exact numbers on the screen as well here for you. Um, just to make that a little bit easier. I just gave myself a stack of everything. All right, so you can use any a solid block for this. I picked cyan concrete just so it stands out. Etho used like a light gray so it kind of blends in with all the other blocks. So this way at least you'll know what we're dealing with here. Um, and so we're actually going to be starting with this back corner here. So there's going to be two blocks here, two more blocks, and two more. And all of these are going to have repeaters facing this way. So kind of in like a half circle. All of them with two tick delays so one extra then right over here we're gonna have this sticky piston with a redstone block and then actually in front of this is where the input's gonna be so we're just gonna get rid of these two blocks here we're gonna get our barrel here and we're gonna have this and then we're just gonna put a temporary barrel in the center and we're gonna do that and then get rid of this one all right, so this is where the output's going to go. So basically, how I showed you over there, when they're sorted, the ones that do have the item we're looking for come here, and the ones that don't go right here. These barrels are a little bit backwards, so I apologize about that, but you can put them in any direction, fix it however you want, doesn't matter. Uh, but then, if we come back over here, so right over here, we're going to have another sticky piston with a block on top, and then another block here. And it's also going to have a repeater on it facing towards that way with a one tick delay so you don't have to change it. And basically you know this is right because from here it's going to be basically a circle from here. And then, so behind this, if you shift, put a block right there. Alright, so that's going to be here. And then there's also going to be a block right above here. Not right here though. And so this box is going to stay empty, and that's because the piston will push this block up some of the time. So from here, there's actually going to be a block right here, and another one right over here. And then sticking off from this way is another sticky piston, and another redstone block like so. You can tell these are right because they're going to be one on top of each other with one block in between. And then there's going to be another block right here, and one on top of here. And now all of these blocks are going to have repeaters on them, and they're all facing towards this way. Towards this way. And these two have a one tick delay, don't change anything. This one will have an extra tick of delay. However, the video I linked in the description from Dr. Plasma actually said sometimes this has issues and you have to change this timing to four ticks. And so if you are having problems, try that out. That might be one of the things happening. And that's if it does not shoot the item out of the dropper here, which actually we can put the dropper in right now. So the dropper goes here and that will connect to this in a bit. We're not gonna connect it fully yet though. Um, but I will put also a block right next to that here. And I don't wanna put in these observers yet. They all kind of click and stuff a lot. So we're gonna put those in a little bit later here. Uh, but this is a good base. We've got this all going for us here. And so then, right here behind these two observers is going to be a block. Get rid of this one here. And on this block, there's going to be some redstone. Then, next to that redstone, above this is a target block here. And that's also going to have a repeater on top facing in this way with two ticks delay, so right click it once. Alright, and then sticking out from here, 
it's going to be a block right there. All right, so there's actually going to be a repeater on this block here next to the target block, and it's going to head towards the front, and it's going to have a one tick delay. Don't need to change anything here. Then there's going to be a block right behind it, and as well right in front of it. And then we're going to also add a block right above it here. And so up here is actually going to be where the sorting system is going to be. So we'll have a couple of blocks here. And so this repeater is actually part of the sorting system. And so one of the most important parts of a sorting system is the redstone torch. Make sure you put that there then this and then we're gonna have the rest of that up here and we just hop up here I built these stairs ahead of time I did give myself some scaffolding but when I tried to use those it did not really help me that much here now we will have some observers here um, but I don't want to put them in quite yet so we're gonna grab our comparator and so you're gonna face this way have these two dots facing forward and then we're gonna have redstone dust here all right, so that is the item sorter. Then you just need to put a hopper going into that. So you can just right click if you hold on shift. Um, so yeah, that's where the item filter will go. And we can actually test that out here. So if we put these here, they don't go in. So I just renamed diamonds as filter. Um, I do recommend renaming these items so that way you don't accidentally throw something in here that will set it off. But this is how many you need. So you need 44 total 41 here and then three single ones there and then leave this one empty that will be where your filter goes um, but that part is all set up we will have to have hoppers heading down here soon all right so from here let's actually add this is where the extra hoppers were in that video and then i guess let's actually put these in now here so we're gonna have one behind here and then this one is also facing forward all right and then the one above that is going to be facing this way so what i'm actually going to do is we're going to put in the dropper here first so over here yes yeah, so we've got a dropper yeah okay so the dropper is going to go right here and then here we're going to have another hopper going that way. These blocks are just temporary. All right, so then that's going to happen here. Then what we can do is actually get the rest of this in. So um, right about here, we're going to need that block anyway, so that can stay. These ones are temporary. Then we're going to need a regular piston. Put it right about there. Um, on the top, we're going to actually need a dispenser. So let's see. Put this block here for a moment. Facing downward like so. And then that is temporary, so grab that. And then we will be putting some glass around here as well. Put that right here. And I did put silk touch on this, so that's good. All right, so we will be having some observers and stuff here, um, but that is just so we can see where everything's gonna go. Um, and then, okay, so these hoppers are in the right place. Then we can grab some more hoppers. We're gonna have one go into here, and these ones are gonna head just straight up from here. Let's hop up here real quick. So one more. So this is where the next bit is going to go. So this is where the item filters are going to go. And this is also where the dispenser will be. Um, let's just see. So we're going to have the regular piston right here. And then we're going to have, let's just put this on top and grab the Spencer facing down right here. Okay, 
So this is where that is going to go. Then we can put some glass right about here. Oop, not that one. Right here. Take that out of here. All right, and then these are temporary, so I'm going to throw these down. I'm actually going to pick them up real quick. Okay, so hop back up here. So we're actually also going to need some glass right above this, and uh, I'm going to hop up on top of here in a second, but we're going to need eight pieces of glass, so two by four right here. And so you'll know it's in the right place if it's one block above that comparator, and it's lined up with those hoppers. And so we're going to have a redstone clock up here. Um, but I'm going to wait to build some of that. Uh, let me grab my blue box though. Because then we'll need one of these right here. And then just so we can build the input here. So hopper into here. And then we'll grab our barrel. And put the lever on the side. And I'm just going to put it down. That way if we put an item in here it won't go through. All right, so this is where the shelter boxes will go. It's right up here. Um, so let's see. We'll start this clock up here. It's pretty easy to build. So we're going to need a repeater facing into our solid block with one tick of delay. Then we're going to need a comparator right here, a comparator right here. This one is on the subtract mode then a repeater facing towards it, no tick delay. Now, this was the other spot that uh, Dr. Plasma in his video explained that this sometimes has issues. And so sometimes he said you may need to have this on four tick delays, um, otherwise this clock will just run continuously. And so I have had some of that problem, but I was not able to fix it doing this. Um, but I may need to rewatch the video and see what I was doing wrong. But we're going to just test it. We're going to put it at two ticks here. Then redstone dust on these four blocks. And then next to this redstone, we're going to have, no, nope, next to, I don't know if I can do it from here. All right, so we're actually going to, next to this one, it's going to be the glass block. And then here is where that block is going to go. Let me just grab this one. Right, so glass block with the target block next to it on top of the target block is just a redstone torch with a repeater facing this way all the way at four then we're going to need a sticky piston it's going to go face down right here and that's good it should go up then this here so then what we need is an observer right here but it's got to be facing upwards so we're actually gonna head underneath because i'm pretty sure this is going to be the right direction and it's going to go next to that piston head there we go okay and now this is important i almost forgot this last time so it should be right next to here right next to this like this all right so on top of this observer you need this rail just like this i have absolutely no idea what this is for but I know it's important. So I, I apologize, I'm not super great at redstone, but I did figure out how to build this at least. So now right behind here, right behind this barrel and on top of the dispenser, you're gonna need a um, observer, but it's gotta face down like this towards that. And then on either side of these, we're gonna need more. So let's see, on this side, we're gonna need two and they have to face outwards the arrow goes out like this and let's see these are really really hard i don't think we're gonna be able to do it this way all right uh let me hop on top of here and do it that way cool so there's two on this side and let me actually just climb over here okay and then on this side is just gonna be one facing this way Right. So you can tell it's right because the arrows go like this. Now this one, ooh. okay. So then I believe this one's gonna also head downward. Yeah, so this one we're also gonna have go down, like so. Okay, so 
that's when it gets a little bit weird. So we've got this. So then right over here, we're going to need another one that heads down right underneath that second one next to this piston when it heads down. Then we're going to need a note block. And then we're going to need another observer facing downward. Make sure you shift so you don't hit the note block. And then we're going to need one facing towards the hopper here. So I think it's got to go this way, like so. All right, so with that, this whole side is pretty much done. Um, we just need to have the rest of the observers for this dispenser. So let's actually do that. So, okay, so this block is important. So then it's going to go, let me see. Nope, that's the wrong way. Okay. So it's going to have to go down. Nope. This one here has to be facing downward. I don't know if that's possible here. And then this one has to face outward. Okay, so that works. And then this one here. So you know it's right if that arrow is facing towards the front, this arrow is facing downward. Okay. So that's basically this whole side done. Then we just need to finish this one here. So that's pretty easy. So from here, there's actually going to be four that come straight down. So look, arrows all the way down to this dispenser here. Ooh, dispenser. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we need to basically have a full block right next to this, right next to this glass. And then we have to connect that block to here with more observers. And so I've actually started to get the hang of this a little bit here. Um, but basically what we're going to do is have it come out. So the arrow is facing outward that way. And then have it come towards here. So the arrow comes out, over, and then down into this block. And so that's all that will do that. So that will connect it to that dropper and it'll get the timing right apparently <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing for this piston right here so we have to connect this block up to that full block behind the piston and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to go out and we're going to come out this way then we're going to come out this way so it should be arrows that way i'll show you guys in just a second out here and then straight down into that block. So if we have up here, out, over, 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 and then that one's a down. We saw that one. It's down. All right, so we have the filter in. We have these connecting up to here. Um, you can put glass here if you'd like, just to make it a little bit smoother like that. Um, but let me just check it over, make sure I didn't forget to do anything. Alright guys, so before we test it here, there actually needs to be a redstone dust right up there. Forgot about that, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, let's see if this thing works. So we're going to have our filter with mud here. It's going to go right here. And then up here we're going to have our different shulker boxes here. All right, so there it is. Um, did we get our mud block back? No, okay. So we're gonna try to make, oop, okay. So let's try that on one more delay. It is sorting. Now on my other one, I didn't have a problem with this. Um, but we're going to try one ex or the two extra ticks here, see if that fixes the problem. If not, I'm not sure what's wrong. But let's put our mud in here. Put that down. And we'll see if it sorts again. 
There we go. Okay, here. And then mud here. No mud here. All right, guys. So that is awesome. I'm so glad that I got this working. Um, ignore all of these stone blocks here, but everything else, this is what it is. So that is super, super exciting. Now, give me one second. I do want to just clear my inventory, but I want to explain a little bit more, just one more thing to you guys before I end the episode here. All right, so we are back in creative here for a second. Um, so you may have seen this mess um, while I was building that. Sorry that they're so close together. Um, but yeah, so this is the core here. So I just kind of added on. So if you saw Etho's episode, he basically made an interface for this uh, contraption here and made it more automatic. So instead of you climbing up, putting shulkers in there, putting, so it was like, all kind of in one, everything would come to the same place. Um, so that's what I started to try to figure out here. Now, I will say I wasn't trying to do it like his video because it was really hard to see everything, like he said. Now, if you're going to copy this from the video, I'm going to warn you, that's what I tried to do. I, I took video of a creative world where I had this built, and uh, it's very hard to see things. I'm going to try to go around and show you like all, a whole bunch of angles here, but if you're trying to copy it, I'm guessing you're going to have trouble, because I sure did. Um, yeah. But I I still might try to build it how he did, or like look at it a little bit more and see if I can figure that out. But for now, I was just trying to play around with it. Um, so up here, I just have this contraption. So basically, this is the input for um, the filter. So the filter is down here right here so that's the filter and these hoppers go up and to here so basically what this does so i have a chest so it's going to take the filter item here take it to there into the chest and since the chest is here it slows down this hopper just enough that this comparator can detect it and then it will send a signal here and it'll move this out of the way however this actually might be good you can see here how this piston is um, extended here. Let me grab a shulker real fast. Now you can do this with anything, but um, but this up here is where the shulkers would sit, but I didn't want them to flow through, and so to automatically turn them off, that's basically what I did, is I blocked this hopper right here automatically. But then uh, this one detects when the items are in here, and I inverted it. So basically once this is empty, it'll push this back into place, so then by the time uh, the shulkers that are negative come back here. That way, it'll hold them again. So it basically detects when this is empty to know how long to keep this block to not extend it. Um, so yeah, so when um, you put an item into this filter, it pushes it over there. And then it automatically goes through here. And so, as you see, it pushed it pretty fast because I only had two shulker boxes in there. So once that was empty, it pushed it back. And so this is actually kind of neat. Yep, and so then this one came back here. It didn't have any uh, mud in it, which we were checking for, but the other box did not make it back here. And this still shot out here. Um, so this one still comes down here. It's got mud in it. Um, but what I did for this, just to test it out, you could do this for, um, basically you just do something similar for both this dropper where the item comes out and then the positive shulker boxes. You can kind of send them wherever you want. Um, but I just extended this hopper line up to this dropper elevator, which Etho did the water one, but he mentioned that this one might be faster. Um, so I just wanted to try it out. So I just made this simple design for the dropper uh, elevator and then just bring it back into this chest. And then this is just sort of some extra space. Um, so I do have a lot of stuff that I would need to work out with this design. It's very not polished, but I just want to show it to you. Um, because at first, when I saw his core, and then when he jumped to the next one, I'm like, that is just overwhelming. I didn't really know what to do from there. So I played around with it, and I still obviously want to try to do something more like he did, and make it a little bit more complicated, perhaps. But I just thought this was super cool that I actually could make it kind of function. Um, but then one thing as well, if you do something like these, you'd want to put comparators on top of them to prevent lag. Oh, I haven't seen these yet. That looks so cool. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, if you just put these on top of 
shulker boxes or um, hoppers when they don't have anything going into them. That will help prevent lag on your server or in your world um, because then these hoppers won't keep trying to detect stuff just coming into them. So that's actually really helpful for lag. So yeah, if you do something like this, uh, that that's how you do it. Or you could do a water stream, whatever you wanted. Um, and then obviously we could do the same thing here. Instead of having a barrel, you could just have, you know, a string of hoppers or drop them into water stream and then bring them somewhere up there. Or you could see, oh, these are the boxes. Um, but I didn't want to build a second dropper. I just wanted to test it out and see. Um, so yeah, and then what Etho did as well, he had a whole bunch of chests that would hold the items and then when you threw them in there, um, basically that way he would have a system where he could have any item he needed to check to pull them out of shulker boxes. So that was super cool. Um, so I assume you could just have some chests up here with the, like, above. So this is where the uh, filter goes in, so you could just probably raise it up to wherever you need it to go. Um, and then put these, put some chests over here, fill them with the items you need, and then he had, um, from this dropper, instead what he did is basically brought the items back up and around to go back into the chest that they came from. So I think that would be kind of simple. You could probably just go under this design. You could get rid of that dropper here. Actually might just do it real fast. So you could probably, because it just goes into a hopper, so if you just did something like this, um, and we could just go like underneath here a little bit just to test it out. Um, so then from here, just sort of like this, that would come down. And let me just go over here real quick. Yeah, so you could just pull this around, bring it to the back. And that way you could just go up and around to another elevator up there. I think that's kind of what Etho did. He had a, a water elevator out the back. Um, so yeah, I think I sort of got the hang of this. I'm actually super proud of being able to figure this out. This is the first time that some redstone contraption this complicated has made a lot of sense to me. Because um, like I said, I don't understand why we need a powered rail here. And with the observers, I understand what they do, but it's also very strange to me to use them instead of a redstone, like, repeater, redstone dust and stuff. But it is cool how they work this way. Um, but yes, yeah, so I kind of do understand it. Now, there is one other thing I wanted to show you guys before we go. This is just sort of a bonus. Let me hop into a different world real quick. Okay, so right off the bat, I want to let you know this is not my world. This is from a creator called C Blue, and I found this video. Um, it's actually their last video on their channel, and it's from three years ago. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate, but I will link it down below because this video is super cool. Um, but this build is basically very similar to what Etho built, and it's inspired by his other builds with shulker boxes from the past. But I just thought it was so cool. This was built three years ago. Um, that's the Etho door. But it does the same thing. So you have the items from here. So if we throw one of these, it'll sort through the shulker boxes over here. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So it's sorting through those. And then when it finds anything that has gunpowder, it'll put them right over here. And if not, they'll just come back to here. So this was built three years ago. Um, and I just thought that was so cool that someone figured out how to do it. Um, and so I'll show you guys the redstone a little bit behind that. But yeah, it makes this little noise. It comes out and it shows that this is in here. Um, and so yeah, and then if you want to... Ooh, jeez. Hold on. Get rid of it. Just hit that. So that's super cool. It's super hidden. Um... But yeah, so this, I just thought this was so cool. Um, but yeah, it's super, super intense back here. Um, so yeah, the one that Etho built with the core is a little bit more uh, compact than this, obviously. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was super, super neat um, when I was trying to research how to do the thing that Etho built and see if I could find anything that would help. I stumbled across this, so I wanted to... Um, kind of show it off just because I thought it was really neat that this 
was possible three years ago, and somehow not a lot of people found out about this video, so it's kind of sad. But yeah, I just wanted to hop in here again real quick onto the server I made, so hopefully you guys can figure out how to build this um, based on me showing these as well as going through how to build it. Um, it is quite complicated and I struggled quite a bit to get it to work, so definitely make sure that you double check um, that hoppers are empty, that you've got all of the repeaters facing the right direction and on the right amount of ticks. And keep in mind that this one down here and this one right over here can have issues. So you might have to change either one or both to a 4 tick delay instead. Um, and I think in the video he also put one here some of the time, but I'm not sure if that... Um, go watch the video if you need help too, that, that video was very helpful from Dr. Plasma. Um, but yeah, I think, honestly, this can revolutionize how people play Minecraft, because if I can build this and figure out how it works, I mean, that kind of means that it's not too terribly hard. It is complicated, but the fact that I was able to get it to work on my own, um, just by watching his video, I, I mean, wow. Um, but yeah, so that means I think that you guys can do it too. And obviously this stuff over here gets a little bit more complicated trying to use it and make it a little bit more automatic in terms of keeping the shulker boxes loaded into it and stuff like that and making it automatic when you drop an item into the filter. That was kind of tough too, but if you just use a chest, like I said, you can uh, detect when an item goes through the hopper above the chest. Um, so yeah, if you just make a hopper line without a chest, it won't detect it. It goes through too fast. Um, but with the chest here, it can detect it on the hopper above. So that's super cool and super helpful. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about how this works, I can try my best to help. No guarantees, unfortunately. Um, like I said, I am no redstone genius. Um, I was able to copy the design, but besides that, um, you know, it's not like I created the thing, of course. Um, but yeah, check out Ethos videos and the other ones I linked in my description. They're all super good, super detailed. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do this a little bit differently, so that's why I built this in Survival. And then started to test out how we can actually use it in a more, like, complete way. Um, but yeah, if you've seen anything about people creating Ethos whole thing or, like, a way to make the rest of it besides the core, please let me know. I've been looking, but I haven't found anything yet. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and if you think that you might like to see me do redstone again in the future, let me know. This is sort of a weird thing that I was just super inspired to do. I couldn't stop thinking about this device and wanting to build it, um, so I wanted to try out doing a redstone tutorial for it. So hopefully you guys don't mind too much. I know it's different than what I normally build, but let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm rambling, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.